What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a great tech news day for you with two stories, one about the Galaxy Z Fold 4, one about the Pixel Fold, and then a couple of questions as well. Kind of a light day on the question, so if you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question and we'll get it answered for you. Without further ado, let's jump into the tech news you can see me looking down because I'm actually trying to get this ready at the same time I'm doing this all in real time why not and the first one let's talk about the the, the, the pixel fold now this is a story about kind of what we know so far about the pixel fold it's a phone that was supposed to at least rumor wise supposed to come out at the end of last year so at the end of 2021 and now it's rumored to be coming out towards the end of 2022 probably October of 2022 and it's a device I say many times I'm super excited about why I'm a fan of folding phones. Two, I love Pixel devices. And three, it's another it's another folding device competitor for Samsung, and that's gonna push them to make even bigger changes and better changes at that. So without further ado, let's jump into this. So this is a just really just a tweet coming out from the Galox, and he put everything together in a nice little tweet so we can kind of put talk about it. So basically what we know about the Google Pixel Notepad or Google Pixel Fold, whatever you wanna call it. So we know it's gonna have a 5.8 inch front display and a 7.6 inch inner display. Why do we know that? Because Ross Young, who is a master of all things displays, has come out and said that. He said it's gonna have a similar size to the Galaxy Z Fold 3 slash 4 on the inside display, and then on the outside display would be 5.8 inches, and it would be boxier. It wouldn't be as uh, tall and, and skinny as what we get with the Z Fold 3. So it would definitely be like a fatter display at that, which is great. I'd rather have it fat, than skinny, that's right. Uh, and then also cameras are due to be, and these are again, this is stuff we've been kind of hearing, 12 megapixels, 12 megapixels on the back. So it looks like we'll get dual cameras, a main and an ultra wide. Obviously not the newest cameras that they have on the Pixel 6. Could that change? Yes, because we haven't fully locked in those cameras yet, but that has been the rumor thus far about the cameras being that so far. And then two times eight megapixel selfie cameras, two, so two cameras on the front there, what are they gonna do with two cameras? Well, it should be one here and then one on the inside as well. So I think that's what they mean by the two selfie cameras, not two cameras here and two cameras there. So just keep that in mind. Also the Tensor processor, I would guess by then it would probably be the Tensor 2 processor. I don't think they're gonna put the same processor in the Pixel Fold Notepad as they would the Pixel 6. I think the Pixel you know, Notepad Fold will end up having the same processor as like the Pixel 7, which will probably be a Tensor 2 processor, right? If I had to guess, or some kind of next generation Tensor processor. And then lastly, the rumored price around 1400 bucks, which would be cheaper, much cheaper, than the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and probably Z Fold 4, because those phones, this phone retailed at about 1700 bucks, or is it 1800 bucks? 1800 bucks. Um, so that's hundreds of dollars cheaper, which could make it a better seller or make people more interested in getting than this phone. So a lot of things to look forward to with that Pixel phone, competitor, competitor cameras, they always make great cameras, have it be lower megapixel or not, they always take a really, really nice photo, fatter front displays, um, potential better battery life, Google software, so it's interesting, I'm looking forward to it. Next up is about Z Fold 4. Now we've spoken about this, but he's locking it in again, and we like when things are get, keep getting locked in to us, because it's a newer processor than we get with any other phone that Samsung has put out, and it is this. It is, he's saying, uh, Ice Universe is confirming that the Z Fold 4 and Flip 4 will use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus. As you know, the S22 phones use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, or at least some of them do, some variants do. And this Z Fold 4 and Flip 4 will use the Plus version of that. In the past, the Plus version of the Snapdragon has usually been about 10 to 15% better performance. That's great. And potentially we'll get also better battery life. Who knows? Maybe they've uh, increased or improved performance so that it uh, doesn't take away when it's not needed. So very cool to see that we're going to get a new processor in the Flip 4 and Fold 4 phones as well. Thanks for watching. Your question of the day is what will be the killer feature on the Pixel Fold and the Z Fold 4? Let me know in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that 
first question comes from 10 Minute Tech Reviews. Uh, Greg, uh, add a quick question with the S Pen. Are you getting any micro scratches without the screen protector? I never use the screen protector. I mean, well, I usually take screen protector off and then I don't really ever use the S Pen. So I'm gonna say no. And you shouldn't either. Hopefully you're not anyway. Last question from Shajil Sazad. Something weird happened to me. Uh, my tab was at like 50% before I went to bed. And when I woke up in the morning, my phone telling me tab is zero and it usually discharges two to 3%. What went wrong? Any ideas? Um, I, I mean, you must've had something running in the background. I would check the battery, the uh, device care and look at the battery and see what apps kind of drew from that. There's gotta be some app that's just killing it. Um, have it be that it was running in the background and you didn't realize it because you had the volume off or something like that, like a video app. Um, it's gotta be something like that in my, is my assumption. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one and down the road. Peace.